Hello YouTube and welcome to another Notepad++ tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how you can run a Python script with Notepad++. So are you ready? Let's get started. So the first thing to do if you want to execute a Python script with Notepad++ is to install Python. So in order to install it, it's really easy. So you go to python.org slash downloads, then you choose whatever version you want, which is 3.6.3. So I will click this button here, I will put it in my desktop, and it starts to download. Okay, so this is the install program. So actually I can install it in default directory, or I can customize installation. So I will customize. So I'll go next, and here I can choose whenever directory I want to install in. So for example, to make it simple, just I will install in the directory called Python. So okay, so I'll get rid of that. So that would be easy to configure in Notepad++. Okay. And I make all the defaults as it is. Okay. So yes, so now the setup is installing our Python. So now the program is installed, so I'll just close. Okay. So now we have to configure Notepad++ in order to run the script. So I'll open my Notepad++. In order to do that, we have to install a plugin called Notepad++ Exec. So I already done that. If you didn't know how to make it or how to install this plugin, you have to review my previous video, which called uh, installing or executing Perl script with Notepad++. So actually it's pretty easy. All you have to do is to go to your plugin manager and show plugin manager. And from here you choose the Notepad++ exec plugin and you install it. It's really easy. So now that you have installed the plugin Notepad++ exec, so I will go to plugin and I will go to Notepad++ exec. Then I will go to execute. Here you will find actually my previous script which allows me to run per script. So I will just copy this one here. Okay. I will choose a temporary script. I will paste it again. And all I have to do is to change actually the directory to point to the Python directory. So my Python directory is actually on the C partition under Python uh, as we have specified. So this is our exec and this is the path to our directory. So all I have to do is to copy this thing here, the path, and I will replace the whole thing here. And I will make slash and the exec file which is Python. And always do not forget the space here. So I will keep just one C partition. So this is actually the path to my exec, exec Python file. And then I can save it, for example, as run Python. Okay. And I will save. Now we have two scripts here. One for Perl with its install directory and one Python. Now I have to add it to a menu macro. So in order to do that, it's also really easy. You have to go to your plugin, Notepad++ exec plugin. Then you go to advanced options. Okay. And from here I can add another item. So I will name this item run Python, for example. You can call it whatever you want and I will associate the script named run python. Okay. 
and I will hit add and modify okay so now I have two sub menus under my macro menu okay so I will hit okay so of course I have to restart notepad plus so I will do that I will relaunch it and here we go we have now I will run Python so let's test it so in order to test it it's really easy we have here uh, an example of script so it's really easy it displays just uh, the date and the time so let me execute the script here so run Python and here we go as you see in the console here this is the date and the time so that was just a brief introduction how to install or how to run a Python script with Notepad++ and you can actually customize this console here so if you want to customize it you go to your plugin Notepad++ exec and you go here actually in the advanced options so here the, the, uh, you can find all the colors if you want to change the background color the foreground color so let me for example change the color the background color so I will copy this here and here and let me just change it for 15 for example okay so now I'll, as you can see I have changed the color of this console window I can also change the font of this console I will go to plugins notepad plus plus exec plugin then here just you will find change console fonts so I can choose whatever font I want for example let me just German for example okay so now you see that I have changed the fonts and I have here my output so that was just a quick review how you can run Python script with Notepad++ if you want to see how you can do the same with uh, Perl all you have to do is to view my previous video so as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye